Manny, over the years, I've been in this business for a while, hope to be in it a while longer, but effective storytelling begins with good writing, good performing, but it finishes with good editing. That's right. I could not have said it better myself. They make you look better. <laughs> They've made me look good right, many times. Right, exactly, and I need a lot of help. Couldn't have said it better myself. Now let's see this year's editing nominees. In the category of editor, within 24 hours, news. The nominees are... Jumping the gun. Breaking news composite, Cody Glass. 2012 composite Las Vegas, Bradley Driver. In the category of editor, no time limit program, the nominees are... La Mama, Ron Kilby. Threaten, the controversial struggle of the Southern Sea Otter, Mona Witherington, Kevin O'Hara. Stories of the Sharp Experience, Episode 11, Kevin G. King. Me and My Laptop, Not Even a Mouse, Mike Castellucci. In the category of Editor, No Time Limit, Short Form, the nominees are Think Blue, Big Deal Campaign, Devin Scott. Friendly, Devin Scott. Mumbai Style Terror Plot, Greg Sleeper. 2012 Composite, Donna M. Dugan. Angel Faces, Where Girls Face Their Scars, Chuck Denton. In the category of Editor, Sports, the nominee is 2012 Composite, James Gray. This is exciting, Manny. And I understand you're nominated for another one tonight also. Ma yes. Maybe. <laughs> I'm nervous <-y. laughs> Yin and Yang. <laughs> Bradley Driver, 12th. 2012 com Composite Las Vegas. Woo! Mana Witherington, Kevin O'Hara. Threaten, the controversial struggle of the Southern Sea Otter. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> All right. Say it five times. Kevin G. King, Stories of the Sharp Experience, Episode 11. Donna M. Du, 2012 Composite. Chuck Nanton, Angel Faces, Where Girls Face Their Scars. Oh, and James Gregg, 2012 Composite. Cars race through the intersection at Charleston and Lamb. It's one of the valley's most dangerous corners for drivers and pedestrians. We expect that some of the shellfish industries will be unable to maintain themselves in the presence of sea otters. So namely, that would be the sea urchin commercial fishery. We think that sea otters would outcompete those fishermen. He fell from a tree, impaled object. My gosh, he has something in his back. It's middle. It's something middle. He can't feel his legs. Bloody, shocking, and controversial. Video you'll see only on News 8, a combat training camp in the East County where animals are being killed. The military says this type of exercise is necessary. As somebody would say to me, how did you burn yourself? What did you do to yourself? And I was like, I didn't ask for this. In my family, we were always told that we were meant to be something extraordinary. You know, it's, a, it's an incredible honor to be standing here in front of all of you tonight. Um, I'm pretty young, as you might notice, so this means a lot to me, standing among you, people that I've, you know, just this is overwhelming, basically. <laughs> so I had a speech prepared, and now it's out the window. Thank you to my producer, Bill Wisniewski, who gave me the incredible opportunity to work on this program. Um, my love, Dave, for you know being there every night while I was gone for 12-hour shifts, you know, working on this documentary. So, um, Kevin, I will turn it over to you. He was an incredible help in this process. Thanks to my wife, Natalie, and uh, also my dad, who made the trip out here. Happy Father's Day. This is for you, Dad. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. I'm very honored to be a part of Angel Faces. It's a tremendous organization. For those of you who haven't heard of it, it is a San Diego-based nonprofit. It deals with young girls who are victims of trauma and burns, 
And uh, it's an amazing organization, and they really make a powerful impact uh, and get these girls to, to rekindle their inner beauty and their fire. I've been shooting television projects since 1986, and this really took me out of my comfort zone. But I'm very honored. I'm very deeply impacted. I'd love to thank my lo lovely wife, Elizabeth. Uh, Lisa Cartelli, the founder uh, of Angel Faces, is back there. Kristen Castillo, producer, as well as Michael uh, Gonzalez Mora, who shot a tremendous video. Thank you so much. I just want to thank everybody, and uh, especially all the great people that I've worked with uh, over the years, um, a lot of different reporters, and um, you know, just thanks for all your patience um, when I went into the edit bay and sliced and diced up, up your uh, reporter tracks and shoved as many nap breaks as I could in there, and uh, thanks for understanding you know, what I was trying to do, really tell a story, uh, really, uh, really bring the viewer um, into, into the story. In, in, and let them see what it is I see through the viewfinder when I shoot and um, what I see in the edit bay. So long. Okay, so I cover fighting as a beat, and the cool thing about covering fighting is that you understand that you can go out and get your ass kicked in the first round and still come back in round two and do better. So this is my round two. Uh, David Brooks. There you are. Is the most underappreciated man that I've ever come across, and I'm so proud of you for getting your due. I, I sit next to this man. He puts up with so much more than I could ever imagine, and he still enterprises some great stuff. John McCutcheon, you have infinite patience. You put up with so much of my BS, and I, I do appreciate you. Brian, thank you for coming out once again. My beautiful girlfriend, Sarah. All right. I won't walk over the music too much. I'll text everybody else.